हेलो ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड्स वंस अगेन आई एम हियर योर इकोनॉमिक्स टीचर मुकुल सर विद ब्रांड न्यू वीडियो ऑफ योर चैप्टर टू इंडिकेटर्स ऑफ ग्रोथ एंड डेवलपमेंट सो लेट स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो सो अगेन एज पर अवर चैप्टर वन आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस चैप्टर आल्सो इन मल्टीपल पार्ट्स बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इज क्वाइट गोइंग टू वेरी लॉन्ग एंड डिवाइडेड टू मल्टीपल पार्ट्स बिकॉज Growth and the development. It's not that topic which is in very limited scenario. You we need to work out more actually. So first of all, let's start the meaning of the development and the growth. So the first thing which comes in our mind like that, sir, development and growth both are very similar things. And we have like heard this thing like in many more years, like बचपन से बहुत सुना है development and growth, development and growth, development and growth. But actually. what is development and growth and how it works in a economics because the thing is that the growth and the development both words like comes from the stream of only economics these are not the words which we see in a multiple things but the economics these words very actually matters okay so what is development and growth first of all let me give you a very very simple example like humans now what is the growth when we born we grow our body parts actually grow like 5 years 10 years 15 18 that's a cycle of a human life so we can say that each and every like on a a particular age hamari body ek grow karti hai so that's called the growth basically jitna hum log hamari age badhi hoti hai hamara wazan badhta hai hamari height badhti hai hamare mind brain capacity badhti hai so these we can say that that's a growth like a rate from 0 to 5 years 5 to 10 15 20 years and the more and more that's called the growth now what is the development development we can say that it's a qualitative change what's qualitative change like how humans actually spend their life they are lifestyles they are the way of talking they are the the whole development of a person on the education level on the health level on the financial level these we can say that that's a qualitative changes in the human so these are the very simplest example ki human ke andar growth aur development kaise hota hai now how we can relate it growth and development in economics first of all i am going to explain these two points with the help of one example i am not going to define and go with the definitions because it's quite difficult for to understand and the already these things given in your textbook so it's totally a meaningless so let comes to the point just suppose take an example of there is a one country which name is a y okay there is a y country which go through with the process of a w Here you can see the country of China and the second world country is Russia. Even after the communist government over there, we can find out the both of the countries are very well developed comparatively to India because India is still struggling for the under developing countries. In short, the under developing nation. So this is what just what I want to share with you. Sir, again you are going to jump directly to development. First of all, understand the concept of development. Ah, huh? like suppose country is going to hard work on to generate the employment. to generate a different kind of businesses on the industrialization on the it sector on the steel sector like different types of sectors government is going to work out so definitely how development works like people get more jobs more cash flow in the market and the purchase power and the gdp will the increase of the country so in that manner that's called a development because it's a qualitative change how it actually works if the employment will there so people can buy the more things their lifestyle and the standard of living will be slowly slowly increases their education level will be increased their health sector will be increased so the people's live like more longer comparatively like the states and the countries which are going on still the under developing process so development is the process jahan pe hame qualitative change logo ki life mein dekhne ke liye milta hai ki like education sector health sector standard of living gdp kis tarah increase karte hain now sir what is the growth growth it's not a qualitative change it's can be say a quantitative change when the per capita income gdp national income will be rise okay so but sir the these points already come in the development so why are you considering this point in the growth because thing is that growth is a quantitative change if the national income will be increase and the gdp will be increase it doesn't mean that the lifestyle all the people will be change that you can take the example of countries like the saudi arab saudi arab country example you can take that's a like a very developed country even it's the saudi arab now the process of the growth but if you are going to see the lifestyle of the people that's not that much good because the on the social level still are women fighting for their rights you don't have much rights in the saudi arab that you can do the lots of thing which you can do in a country 
in our India and most of the democratic countries. So we can't say that that country is not developed country. But some of the points which the still their people are fighting for that. Okay. So development is the it's all about complete the whole development. It's the development on the all levels like our health wise, like our financial levels, on the social level. The it's like a complete package. Okay. It's not depend on the growth. So let me divide these things into two parts basically. We can say that development it's not possible without the growth because if you don't have money, you don't have a good GDP, you don't have a national income. So is it not possible for people to make their uh, like living in a more standard levels? Unkili possible in your life to more acha bana sake if they don't have any kind of money. Let's take an example of United States. United States is that country जहाँ पे भी growth का level चल रहा है। Now they are having a lots of money, the per capita income GDP is very high already. So now they are working on what? Like they are working on a different kinds of renewable energy, green green resources, different kind of वो उन चीजों पे work कर रहे हैं जो development के ऊपर आ चुके हैं। They are not working on like a health sector, education sector, like a employment scenario, the all things because these things are already developed over there. But India is the country which is working still on the like generation like generate of employment generate more businesses like apply more industries so like standard of living people will be increased but us not that country because they are going through with the growth growth process okay so now the first thing which comes in our mind okay sir that now this is quite clear that growth is the process of after the development once the country is going through with the under developing process the second part develop and the after that growth comes so we can say that development comes in the growth so growth is a like a wide topic and uh, development is a narrow topic we can't say like that because development can the whole scenario aata hai jabki growth ke andar sirf ek income ke upar particular focus kara jata hai jabki development ke andar health everything we need to consider in a development process so there are lots of countries where we can see the developed like uh, china russia america and most of the Euro european countries are the developed if you going to find out in the asian countries most of countries are still fighting like suffering in the under developing process like uh, bangladesh pakistan nepal sri lanka bhutan lots of countries are there which is still not developed countries and uh, uh, by bad luck one of our country is also there but our country india is not that much in the down standards we are going very high because economy and gdp of our country is very like fast in the comparatively to other asian countries we can say that thing so that's the basic meaning of the growth and the development we can define over here the growth is the after process of the development and it calls only consider the national income gdp and the whole money related factors even we can say that the monetary factors only consider in the growth and in the development we consider the health sector education sector and it's all about the social factors also like uh, important in our development process so let's get to the point sir how we can understand this thing in like the easiest form and like you are already explained this thing like the growth and development but how we can understand in very easiest manner too? so let's take an example of just like one more time i'm going to take example of india okay if you are going to see last 2019 when the recession was there almost the three tax were the india is facing the recession in the 1992 almost when the stock market crashed and in 2009 when the global recession is there at the last year 2020 when the pandemic was there so 2009 was a situation when the whole world is suffering from the global recession 2008 or 9 was that time exactly so whole world is suffering from the recession but we all know that thing that after recession one point is there which is called a recovery point so when india is going through with the recovery so that point is we can also consider in a under developing process now india is going that country which like from like since 2011 to 2020 we developed in lots of things in our health sector in our infrastructure of it hub automobiles in lots of sector we achieved lots of achievements humne kafi cheeze achieve kari hai it sector ke andar automobiles ke andar and health sector ke andar so we can't like completely say that that the india is a that country on the benchmarks we can't give like a lowest rank india hum benchmarks pe india ko the lowest rank de hi nahi sakte ki like india is that country which is like a very downwards in the under developing process we are that country like which is almost on the top of the developed hum ek developed country ki taraf almost target pahunch chuke hain comparatively to our neighboring countries like pakistan and the nepal so 
like after a couple of years we can say that as our narendra modi our honorable prime minister said that thing that till 2025 we will definitely achieve our trillions of economy the trillions of economy ka jo ek sapna hai wo definitely we will achieve that dream and on that time after 2025 india will become a, a developed country and after 2025 to 2050 that according to economics which is a road map of success of our country and the development process india will enter in the phase of growth and on that point India will only focus on how they can increase our national income on the GDP and the other employment process. So still we need five to six years over there that we have to go through with after complete this pandemic to under development process. So how actually development and growth works. So this video is just for to understand the simple meaning of the growth and the development. In our next video, I will try to explain you the different characteristics and the factors which are responsible for the development and the growth. And lots of PPTs I will make it for you, so you can easily get your answers like some typical questions. So hope in this video the concept of growth and development is clear for all of you because I have taken lots of example like a US and India, so you can easily understand the meaning. The growth is the part like we can say that after development the growth is there and development is also a small part of a growth and growth is a very narrow topic and development is very a wide topic to understand so hope you enjoyed this video so see you in our next video guys have a nice day to all bye bye